Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, the Elusive White Dragon. Dragon's Milk White is a 6% white stout from New Holland Brewing in Holland, Michigan. White stouts seem to be another newer trend popping up in craft beer. Now, sometimes they're called white stouts, sometimes golden stouts or pale stouts. They take a lot of different names. Now, we did a little research on the style, and it seems while white stouts had the expected aroma of a stout, they get the white color or the pale color by using cacao nibs, chocolate, or coffee instead of roasted malt for flavor. And because you're not using roasted malts, the brewer is able to keep the beer pale in color. So that right there is just a little white stout info for you. So this Dragon's Milk marks a few firsts for New Holland. It's their first white stout, probably the first beer to take the Dragon's Milk name that's under 11% and the first Dragon's Milk in a can. So let's take a look at the label and get this a pourin. Fun fact, Komodo dragons can run up to 18 to 20 kilometers per hour or similar to a human being's average running speed. So if you see one, you probably want to take off before it starts getting a move on. So looking at the can here, it has the, the, the new uh, dragon's milk scaling effect on the, on the label. It has a white or a lighter scale though. It's 6% ABV. Again, the first dragon's milk that I can think of that's under 11%, even of the reserves. It has a black dragon here on the front, established 1997. And and it says Dragon's Milk White, Bourbon Barrel Aged White Stout. And then on the back, it says Dragon's Milk White, Alcohol 6% by volume, smooth, creamy, legendary, proudly brewed in Holland, Michigan. And sometimes they put like pairing, food pairing information or things that you should pair it with. Uh, the one thing that I thought was kind of odd and I, I didn't really put two and two together is that this is bourbon barrel aged, but it doesn't have high ABV. And I thought, well, don't all bourbon barrel aged beers have, doesn't that boost the ABV? Well, yeah, it does in some, but then I thought like some of it's just aging it. I mean, they don't have to age it that long. It could just be a few months, some are six months, some are 12 months. And I think the longer it is, the longer the beer takes starts to take on some of that quality, the qualities of the bourbon barrel. Uh, and I think that it's more of kind of like an oak that it's gonna to add to this beer, but I guess we'll open it up and check it out. And then on the bottom, it has the uh, brewed on date, 1-30-19, which is January 30th. As of this, it's less than a month. And I just have to say before I open this, this was almost impossible to find in East Michigan uh, in February. So I saw that New Holland posted it. It showed up in places on the west side of the state all the way to about Lansing. And then it seems like past Lansing, you can't find it. So I was actually near Grand Rapids and picked this up today. And I've seen reviews out for it, so I know I'm not the first, but I just wasn't able to find this. So I have my Dragon's Milk glass that New Holland sent me a little while back. And uh, let's get a nose on this can, on this right out of the can. So it does have a little bit of a stouty scent. I'm not getting a really bursting, like roasty kind of smell out of this, just out of the can. It's, it's, I'm not getting a lot of smell out of it. Let's put it that way. So let's go ahead and pour this. So look at that, really nice and light in color. Set it down, a really beautiful head. It's about a finger's worth of head. It is a little bit off-white. This is like almost a, an orange color. It is, it's pretty close to orange. It's got a nice kind of, the head's dissipating actually really quickly. It's got some really large bubbles, as you can see from the overhead. And if I hold it up to the light, it's just like any stout. It's not, I mean, you know, stouts are used to seeing as being dark, so it's hard to say, oh, they're opaque or whatever, but you can kind of tell sometimes that it is a little, if it's a little bit thinner or a little bit thicker, this is definitely very thick. I can see my fingers holding onto the glass through it, but that's about it. Let's try and get a better nose here. I'm getting some vanilla scents out of the glass, but again, I'm not getting a whole lot of a whole lot of smell out of this just out of the glass. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a vanilla note, maybe a tiny bit of an oaky kind of scent to it as well, but I'm I'm ready to dive right in, so cheers. It's got a really sweet taste. It's got a really sweet light vanilla taste to it. The mouth feels really medium, really mild mouthfeel.
Yeah, the vanilla kind of rolls through. I get it on the tail end. It gets it, it's like a regular run of the mill kind of vanilla, and then after the taste, it kind of becomes this almost white chocolate vanilla taste on the tail. I do get. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of this oaky kind of quality to it. As I'm getting that vanilla, as I'm getting that white chocolate kind of taste, I feel like there's a bit of an oak flavor in there as well. This is very crushable. I know that most people, when you think of stouts, you think of um, higher ABV, 10%, 9%, 8%, higher ABV. But if you think about it, one of the, you know, kind of tried and true stouts, and you might not, you might share a different opinion, you might not like this stout, but Guinness is very light, very uh, thin mouthfeel, it's very low ABV. So stouts don't always have to be really high, you know, really high um, alcohol content beers. They can be lower alcohol content beers and just be as full of flavor. Let's get another taste out of this. Yeah, like I said, I'm getting a little bit of vanilla, a lot of white chocolate, uh, not much coffee flavor. I thought I'd maybe actually get coffee out of this because, like I said, cacao or uh, coffee is used to kind of flavor these sometimes. This isn't a coffee stout, so I wasn't really expecting coffee so much as I kind of had a preconceived notion that there might be coffee. Uh, but it's it's really good. It's it's light. It's crushable. I don't think it's anything mind-blowing, uh, but it's a good stout. It's a good serviceable stout. If you want to try a white stout or a lighter stout, a pale stout, this would be a really good one to try. It's Like I said, it's sweet. It's got a nice sweet taste to it, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. It's, it kind of throws your mind a little bit, right? Because you, you think, okay, stout, you pour it, you're expecting it to be dark, and obviously it's not. This is white, dragon's milk white, so it's not going to be white. But I think this is a really good gateway for somebody that's not into stouts or not into dark beer. You could say, hey, you know, you want to try this beer I just picked up and pour it and give it to them and say, what kind of style do you think this is? And they'll say, oh, it tastes like this really weird, uh, I don't know, it's the color, it looks like an IPA. It's got this really odd kind of color to it. Maybe it's a milkshake IPA or something. You'd be like, no, it's a stout. And they'll say, oh my God, that's a stout. And you'll say, well, it's not a regular stout, it's a white stout. Duh. So yeah, I think it's a really good, it, it would be a really good gateway to somebody that isn't, you know, maybe stouts aren't their first choice or the first style that they go to. You could introduce them to this and maybe not tell them it's a stout if you go someplace and, you, you know, recommend it to your friend and see what they think. And, and this, again, could be a gateway to a stout drinker, you know, a new stout drinker, somebody that's not into stouts, but could try this and say, maybe stouts are for me. And I think New Holland did an awesome job rolling this out and, and putting something like this out and kind of bucking their own trend, right? They always put these really high, higher level alcohol content stouts out. And then they put this lower one out that's smooth, it's sweet, and it kind of changes your perception of what you think a stout should be. All right, friends, that has been Dragon's Milk White Stout. Have you been able to try this beer yet, or have you had any other white stouts? What are some styles that I've been neglecting that you'd like to see on the channel? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're down there, if you like Michigan beer, you might want to subscribe, because I'm talking about it every Tuesday and Thursday, and it's absolutely free to viewers just like you. You can also find a bunch of goodies in the description below this video, including some Amazon affiliate links that'll help me out, uh, links to some merch, my website, and lots more. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>